Hey you guys, my name is Mackenzie. I'm a licensed private investigator and here's a PI story I can legally tell you. Okay, so I had a client reach out who was raising her grandson. Her daughter had died from cancer and the kid's dad was never in the picture. He was supposed to pay child support, never did, whatever. Well, he starts dating a new lady and she encourages him to get custody of this kid. The kid's only four. So they go and they ask for custody and the grandma is fighting him to the nail. Absolutely not, what's wrong with you? So anyways, they go to court and the judge decides to issue like temporary visitation. I guess, I don't know, like a test run. Anyway, so the grandma finds out the new girlfriend is a stripper. She has a little bit of a record. She just thinks that she is kind of unsavory. And the grandma knows the dad. Like the dad and her daughter, they have a long history together and it ain't great. So she basically knows that like the dad is doing this just for the new girlfriend, I guess. And my client basically feels like this girl just wants to play house. So she wants to dig up any dirt she can on this new girlfriend. She wants me to do surveillance while they have the baby. But one of the things my client asked the judge for and was granted was the baby is not to be alone with the new girlfriend. Well, so I go do surveillance and sure enough, the dad leaves the house, leaving the baby with the girlfriend. Well, because there were specific court orders, I'm keeping my client updated like on the regular. So I call her and I say, dad's leaving, the baby and the girl, they're at home. Well, she gets excited. She thinks she's nailed him, right? She's over here on the phone. I got that son of a bitch. So anyway, she says, follow him. So I'm like, all right, bet. So he goes to a private residence. He goes inside for a little while. And so I get on the Google machine and just try to find out some information about who lives there and who he's visiting so that when I call my client, I'll have answers for her. And as I go to call my client, the dad is making his way out the door. So he's clearly like saying goodbye to the people as he's walking out. A woman follows out behind him. And I'm over here like, no way, some of a bitch. He's cheating on his girlfriend, the one who wants custody of his baby. Well then, I'm not done, a little boy runs out of the house about eight or nine years old and he says bye daddy when are you coming back he hugs the kid goodbye and then he kisses the lady like intimately what in the goldfish crackers is happening so i call my client even she's confused as a dickens and she says that some of a bitch well the grandma decides she's not gonna say anything until it goes in front of a judge because she doesn't want to give him the opportunity to like come up with a story and talk to his lawyer and all this jazz so they end up going to court his new girlfriend was appalled apparently he's been with this other lady since the kid was born like eight or nine years ago however long it was. And his first baby mama, the one that he went to the private residence and he saw her and the kid, she didn't know about the new baby mama or the new baby. So this guy had like a whole ass double life. His second baby mama dies and he can't take custody or pay child support because then the first baby mama will find out. Well, the new girlfriend didn't know that he had like all this double life going on. So anyways, the judge ended up awarding full custody to the grandma and she's so proud of herself. Like I can hear my client walking out of the courtroom. You son of a bitch.